It was 2018. The internet was abuzz with talk of Walmart yodel boy and the shocking revelation that Little Tay's brother had scripted her videos. In this heated social media climate, one could be forgiven for thinking that anyone who dared post a video on Instagram was deranged, if not flat out dangerous. But that didn't stop this man. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brongulus Plumberger, and I'm here with a man who let a camera crew document his attempt to save his career by creating epic comedy skits for young adults, Tony Zarin. Good to be here. Tony, right off the bat, I have to ask you the one question that comes up most often in the comments of your videos. Are they ironic? Brongulus, ironic or not, the important thing is that they make you think, whether it's about something as trivial as a Xbox game or something as important as a PC game. Hmm. Now, Tony, another comment you get a lot in these videos is, you know, they aren't funny, they're cringy, they're unfunny, they're terrible, they're unwatchable, are you autistic, are you uh, retarded, that sort of thing. How do you respond to that? Listen, my videos, uh, they're not perfect, but you know what? You have to start somewhere. Even the greats like Lele Pons and Ray William Johnson, when they started, uh, well, when they started, their videos were perfect, but now they've ascended to the level of the sublime. Hmm. Now, going by likes, the most popular video you've made for digipop.vids was When Your Mom Takes Your Xbox. Let's take a look. I can't wait to play some violent shooting games on my Xbox. Wait a minute. Where's my Xbox? I took them all because you failed math. Mom! I miss gaming. Tony, I have to ask, you seem a little old to have your mom take your Xbox, so how did you go about writing this script? Well, uh, if you've been paying close attention to this show, you would know that that script was actually written by my old college roommate, Robert. You know, I think when Robert was writing When Your Mom Takes Your Xbox, he channeled the feelings he had when his ex-wife took away his kids. All right, well, Tony, we have a little surprise for you. You've seen him in a bunch of Tony's videos. Please make some noise for Jongulo Dippity Dwaddle. Jongulo, you were part of the epic skit when the whole squad gets turned. What are you guys doing? We're getting turned up. Yeah. I just have to ask you, John Gillo, how turnt was it on set? It was very turnt. Tony? Yes, it was quite turnt. Actually, funny story about that a video. We were on set uh, kind of thinking there is no way this could be any more turnt up. And then John Gillo comes in and it, uh, it got even more turnt. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, Tony, it seems you may have saved your job at Digipop, but after the last episode, it also seems like a whole new slew of problems may have been caused when you brought Robert on board. So, is there anything you can tell us about what's happening in this season's final two episodes of Relatable Content? Well, I don't want to spoil too much, but I will say that we're getting the casts of Game of Thrones and Stranger Things together to do an epic karaoke battle of songs from Hamilton. And the judges will be Lin-Manuel Miranda and Danielle Cash Me Outside Bragoli. Sorry, just sorry to say it. Oh, that's a uh, text from my boss, uh, uh, Kaylee. It uh, turns out we, we did not put the ask out to the Game of Thrones cast or the uh, Stranger Things cast or Lin-Manuel Miranda or the Cash Me Outside girl. But uh, you know who is coming back? My niece, Dumb Debra. Okay, yeah, actually it looks like Dumb Debra is asking for a $50,000 appearance fee. Um, but uh, the good news is you know who will be in these episodes? Me and my boy, John Gillo. Uh, well, I, I'll, be, I'll be in them. Well, Tony, thank you so much. And everyone out there, make sure to subscribe to Hatch.NYC for more relatable content.